Hello everybody and welcome to today's episode. We are going to be learning about thumb pitch today. And that is why I have these three thumbs here that I'm going to be showing off um, and experimenting with today. So the first one that we're going to be taking a look at is my normal thumb. I have a zero zero thumb, it's this blue one here. Uh, so that's going to be the first one that we take a look at. The second one that we take a look at is the white one, which has a 16th reverse and the black one has a 16th forward. So a real brief and quick explanation for reverse and forward pitch. Reverse pitch is whenever you go away from the center of your palm. So the thumb goes away from the center of the palm like that, and forward pitch is the opposite where you go towards the center of the palm or center of grip. Um, and so uh, the 16th reverse should, in theory, help me come out of the ball quicker, and the 16th uh, forward should help me stay in the ball longer and the reason for these is not only based on your flexibility of your thumb but also a lot to do with the pain that you're having so let's get into the experimentation and I'll give an explanation of everything I did afterwards Alrighty guys, so I just wanted to sum up everything that we've gone over in this video today. Uh, I'm back here in the pro shop now, and so uh, I just wanted to explain um, a little bit more in depth about thumb pitches. So a lot of people um, tell me that they have a lot of pain up here in their elbow area, um, on their forearm as well, and their bicep specifically, and uh, a little bit of a tendon issue sometimes. So one primary uh, help that we can do to put you in an advantage to stop the pain is putting a little bit of forward pitch so that you stop squeezing the ball so much. Now, there are disadvantages to this, um, but recently I have found that I had some pain up here uh, just trying to get back into bowling after taking such a long break due to everything going on in the world. So I took a long break. So what I did was I drilled that black thumb 1 16th forward and made it just a little bit smaller because my thumb uh, was no longer swollen like it used to be. Uh, and so whenever I did that, I, I caused myself to not have to squeeze any to hold onto the ball when I'm in the back swing. And that's very important because you don't want to squeeze anything because not only does it uh, help you to miss your target more if you squeeze, but also it causes pain a lot of times, especially in that tendon and forearm and bicep area. Also, it can help support your wrist a little bit. Um, but the, dis the main disadvantage that people use against using forward pitch of any kind is that you hang up in the ball just a little bit. Now, as we saw in the videos, there was a slight difference going from the 16th reverse all the way to the 16th forward. And of course, we had the zero in there with the first shot. But going from the 16th forward to the 16th reverse, the main thing that I feel is a less need to squeeze because the reverse has my thumb going away from the center of my grip, as we talked about. So the more away you go, the harder it is for you to hold on to the ball just naturally without squeezing it. And also, uh, it helps whenever you go forward to once again relieve that pressure in the backswing. But if you go reverse, it helps create more pressure in the backswing, especially on the forearm and tendon, so that you're squeezing or needing to squeeze if you have too much reverse pitch. Now, 1 16th either way is a very minuscule difference. I have to say that. Um, and being a pro shop guy, I definitely agree and know that. And so one primary thing that we want to do is take it little bits at a time. If you're trying to experiment with changing your uh, thumb pitch and you have the switch grips or interchangeables or ultimate uh, thumbs, 
um, that uh, like I have access to with the uh, turbo switch grips that I use, then I recommend going in small steps towards your goal whenever you can uh, build up towards whatever you're working for. So if you want to alleviate some pain here in your uh, forearm and tendon area and your bicep area, my best suggestion is going to be just take it little bits at a time. So let's say that you use one eighth reverse in your thumb, then let's tone that down to just a 16th reverse or even go zero zero and see, uh, or zero reverse zero forward and see what it does. Um, I would keep the same uh, left and right pitch. Um, but let's go ahead and, and try that and see little by little if it does help alleviate any pain that you're experiencing. And if it does, little by little, then we know we are on the right track. And that is where you can use it to your advantage. And that's how I see it. So continuing further, I'm going to, be keep, uh, I'm going to keep experimenting with some thumbs. And I'm looking forward to uh, helping a lot more of you in the future with future videos uh, that are going to be even more in-depth about other topics here at the Bowling Center and in the Pro Shop. So once again, I want to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments about this topic, or if you want a future topic to be discussed, be sure and comment below on this video and leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next tips video. Thank you. Any other